Hello, today we're going to talk about finding the rate of the change in the initial value of a function in a table. All right, the function we are talking about is a slope intercept form. So y equals mx plus b. In this form, you have two distinct things. You have the slope and you have the y-intercept. We're going to talk about the slope first. So the slope is also known as the rate of change. All right? This is how fast you change from your y-intercept or your initial value. How fast it goes up. If you're talking about a word problem, you'll see something like, I pay $25 per hour. So the slope in that case would be 25 because it's, it's changing $25 per every hour. That is how fast it's changing. Now if I said $10 per hour, it'd be changing at a rate of $10 per hour. You find this in a couple ways, but you have the slope formula, which is M equals a change in Y over the change in X or slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All right, those negatives there, they're not really negatives, they're just saying change to the sign. So whatever you put in your y1 and x1, you're just gonna change the sign. If you have, an, if you have a two, you're gonna put it as negative two. If you have a negative three, you're gonna put it in as three. If you think of that way, it makes it a lot easier. When you're graphing, I'll have to keep it the same color, you do rise over run, which means basically how far you go north and south, east and west, all right? There's a nice way to do it with similar triangles. That helps out a lot. We'll get into that in a little bit. All right, so your y inter intercept is your initial value. It's what you start at. So say I gave you the example from before. I say $25, I pay $25 per hour, and there is an insurance that I buy for $25, All right? So I'm renting, oh, let's say $10. I'm renting a bicycle, all right? I have to pay $10 of insurance just to get the bike. If I don't ride it at all, I pay $10. That's how much I initially have to pay no matter what. $10, that's your y-intercept, that's what you start at. And then it changes by however how much you're paying after that. This is always written as zero, then whatever the number is. So zero, five, zero, negative seven, all right, and so on and so forth. And those are the two big things that you need to know from the slope intercept form. The rate of change is the slope, the initial value is the y-intercept. All right, here's two examples from a table. All right, again, the y-intercept is gonna be written something like zero something, or it's the initial value, it's where you start off. So in this example, where do you start off? Well, you're since zero, oh, 05, so my starting off point is oh, 05, and I started with 30. So my initial value, I start off with 30. If you want to think of it as a point, this point is 0, 30. Initial value, your y-intercept. Now your slope. You can't use rise over run here. So what you have to use is two points. 0, 30. And I'm going to use 1, 39 to find it. So it's y squared minus y1 over x squared minus x1. So I call this one, call this two, x, y, x, y. Then whatever I numbered it, I make that my subscript. So I get 39 minus 30 over one minus zero, which gives me nine over one, which is nine. So nine is my slope. If I want to write this as a function, it'd be y equals nine x plus 30. Now, what does this represent? What does the slope represent? 
So the slope represents the years, how many shells per year since 05. So this person is collecting, say they're going on a vacation. They started collecting shells in 05 or they started to count. So in 05, they collected 30 shells. That's how many they had. That's their starting point. They want to know every year after that how many they get. So after one year, they have 39. They've collected nine shells. Another year, another nine, right? So that's what the, the slope represents. It's the shells per year is what it represents. So she's getting nine shells per year, started with 30 shells, and then you can tell. So if you were saying, all right, four years after 05, how many would you have? Well, you add nine to this, and you get 66. You add another nine to it for the next year, you get 75, and so on and so forth. Here's your equation. That's what the slope represents. Now we come over here. Uh, initial value is where you start off. So this starts off at zero, zero. All right, this is probably a race, if I had to guess. Uh, slope, I'm going to take the point zero, zero, and one, one hundred. You can take any points here. I can take one, one hundred, and three, three hundred. It would still be the same thing. We'll call this one, two, x, y, x, y, one, one, two, two. So I'm going to go one hundred minus zero over one minus zero. You get a hundred over one, which is a hundred. But what does my slope represent? Well, my slope represents, if you think about it as rise over run, or y over x, it's your meters, in this case, which is my y, so my meters equals my y, over what my x equals, which is my minutes. So it's 100 meters per minute. If you go back over here, same thing. If you do rise over run, which is how you find the slope from a graph where you say y over x. What does my y represent here? So number of shells, and what does my run mean? Years since 05, say years. So number of shells per year, number of shells per year, 100 meters per minute. And the equation for this one over here would be y equals 100x. So you don't have to put the y in there, set. All right, and two more finding it from a graph. All right, my initial value is where this line right here crosses the y-axis. It crosses the y-axis at 0, 10, so my initial value is 10. Now I need to find my slope. Now that I'm from a graph, I can do rise over run. All right. By doing rise over run, I'm just going to make a triangle. So I'm going to start at this point down here that I know, 2, 0. And I'm just going to dot it all the way up until I get level with this point over here. Once I get level with that point, I'm going to take a direct right turn and go to it. That creates a right triangle. All right. Now I just count how many I went up. I went up 10, and I went over 2. Rise over run gives me 10 over 2 which is five. Now what does my slope represent? First the equation would be five x plus 10, negative, negative. It's negative because you're decreasing here with your line. What does this represent? Well, miles from home and hours. All right, so you got rise over run, so negative five miles from home per hour. So you start at a distance 10 miles away and you're basically running home is all you're doing here. And you're going five miles per hour to get there. And there you go. Now we're over here. That's 10, five or five. Yeah, 10.5. All right, so I start up here. My initial value crosses there, so it's at 10. My slope is rise over run. I'm just gonna make a triangle until I get out to that point. Once I get it, make a direct, direct turn. Makes a right triangle, it's a right angle. 
So from here to here, I count as 10. From here to here, I count as five. So that's rise over run. Rise over run. So I rose up five and I ran over 10. Simplify that down to one half. I have a negative looking line here because this is a positive one. That's a negative looking line. That's negative. This is a negative line. So rise up five over 10, negative one half. My equation here then is y equals negative one half x plus 10. And my slope just represents the decrease that it's taking per whatever you want to put down here. All right, this has been finding the rate of change in the initial value of a function in a table. Hope it helped.